An invincible gas giant, Jupiter. It can withstand a meteorite impact that would destroy the Earth and affects the orbits of all the planets in the solar system. But what if I told you that life itself may wipe out Jupiter? Any living thing introduced to the gas giant, no matter how small, could spell its doom. In this video I'll explain what can make Jupiter explode and change its color. What might the great red spot be in reality? How then will Jupiter's atmosphere kill the planet? When the Galileo spacecraft entered Jupiter's atmosphere in April 2003 after eight years in orbit, the gas giant may have already been infected with life. In order to avoid the possibility of Earth-based germs contaminating Jupiter's moons, NASA made the decision to destroy Galileo. But NASA wasn't at all bothered by the fact that they wound up on Jupiter itself. 90% of the gas giant is hydrogen. Since bacteria consume more than 100 tons of the hydrogen that forms on Earth each year, this element is about 2 million times rarer on Earth. Simply put, NASA scientists have never thought that microorganisms from Earth could thrive on Jupiter. However, astrophysicist Sarah Sagar and her team at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology unexpectedly discovered how microbes would behave on exoplanets in 2020, 17 years after Galileo was destroyed. Escherichia coli, sometimes known as E. coli, and yeast were exposed to various conditions, including pure hydrogen. Additionally, the bacteria successfully established colonies and multiplied after surviving. Such bacteria might have survived if they had been on the Galileo spacecraft. The point is that because the probe descended into clouds of frozen ammonia on Jupiter, where it is slightly warmer than minus 100 degrees Celsius and pressure is the same as on Earth, bacteria that feed on hydrogen will quickly establish a colony because they have an endless supply of food and no natural predators. Methane and hydrogen sulfide will be released by bacteria in the interim. These substances are heavier than hydrogen. Hydrogen sulfide is eight and a half times heavier than air, and methane is four times heavier. And Jupiter's mass would increase four to eight times if microbes converted all the hydrogen there into energy. The planet would shrink and become denser due to the increased gravity. Additionally, Jupiter's color would alter since methane and hydrogen sulfide are colorless gases. However, that is the most optimistic scenario because once microbes begin altering the elemental concentration on Jupiter, even more terrifying chemical processes will begin. What if they've already been launched, though? On Jupiter, there may be more sources of bacteria besides Galileo. Asteroids and comets are continually attacking this gas giant. For instance, comet shoemaker levy fragments hit Jupiter in 1994, heavy metals are thought to have entered the planet's upper atmosphere following this impact, according to scientists. Additionally, when Jupiter was actively consuming other planets, bacteria might have reached this gas giant far earlier than merely heavy metals. The Juno spacecraft learned during its mission that Jupiter may have swallowed up a whole other planet at the beginning of the solar system. Its axial tilt and composition were permanently altered, and it was 10 times bigger than Earth. According to NASA, Jupiter was 9% rock and metals after the collision. Maybe that was also when microbes got hold of it. For instance, that would clarify the nature of the Great Red Spot. It's possible that the planet's population of purple sulfur bacteria is growing. When there are red tides, the water turns red. In Jupiter's atmosphere, purple microorganisms that can consume molecular hydrogen are also actively multiplying. And if the Great Red Spot is in fact an accumulation of bacteria and Jupiter received its first bacteria millions of years ago, it's feasible that we may soon witness the first effects of their vital activity. They will also be devastating. Jupiter's bacterial colonies will gradually transform hydrogen into methane. Furthermore, this gas isn't the most stable. Methane explodes when its concentration hits 5%. And as the methane percentage rises above 16%, it starts to burn when it comes into contact with oxygen. Because of the heterogeneity of Jupiter's atmosphere, oxygen and methane can be found in separate bands of the planet and can ignite when they come into contact. But the raging end of the world won't last forever. Methane will soon turn into carbon dioxide and water on Jupiter under the action of the sun and lightning. The gas giant, though, might contain entirely other bacteria. In this case, our planet is in danger. 